Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be introducing you to my new horse. I've actually had her for about two months now. Well, I've had her on the property for two months, but um, we bought her at the start of this month, so maybe three weeks ago now. On Instagram, I asked you guys if you had any questions about her that you wanted me to answer in this video. So I'm gonna be going through them, telling you a little bit about her, and yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. But you'll always stay close to my heart She's a black liver. Uh, she's registered as black liver. I don't know if that means she's a black liver chestnut. Um, but yeah, she's very, very dark. Uh, she's got a star and she's got two sort of socks on both of her left feet. She's about 14 one hands high. So this was actually my coach's pony. Um, we swapped ponies. So I no longer own Leisha. I officially own Hillary. We did an uh, official transfer of ownership. We had them on a sort of swap trial for about six or seven weeks or something, and then we officially swapped them just after I did Darden Up ODE on Hillary. Both of the horses went through vettings and everything like you would with buying a horse, anyways. Hillary passed with flying colours. She was awesome. So I'm going to answer some questions. Um, a lot of them I just answered right then. Um, one of them is got any long-term goals in mind so mainly just to learn from her and get her out eventing and jumping some at the moment she's schooling about 70 to 80 centimeters at home she's got a show jumping competition this weekend coming at Bustleton winter show jumping they're competing between 50 and 70 centimeters so that's exciting your second time jumping at a show yeah um, oh yeah, at Darden Up OGE we actually came second and we were one penalty behind first. So couldn't have really asked any better of that for her first time ever eventing or jumping competitively. You know, let alone her second time ever going cross country. And she went through the water, she went over the scary rainbow jumps, she did everything and she was just amazing. I was so proud of her. And it was her first time camping as well. So it was just so many firsts and she just tackled them all and came home with a second yeah so we did the 45 there as was her first time jumping competitively and yeah she just rocked it so that was a real sort of selling point per se like I was just so impressed like I was just, just stoked honestly you got an itch yeah Um, she was imported from Vic as I think she was like a five or six year old. My coach brought her over um, and she's been training as a dressage pony ever since. She's educated to about medium advanced level. She's done I think two or two or three medium tests. So she's fairly educated to say the least. She's just learning the ropes of jumping now and preventing which she's really enjoying. And she's super, super bold. She hasn't stopped at anything yet, I don't think. Her movement is just amazing. Like, it's just gorgeous. And her jump, she's got some serious springs on her. Like, why's my camera tilting there? Anyways, she's got some serious springs on her. Like, the scope on this pony is just out of this world. So, she shows some real talent and promise as a jumper as well. And she's obviously already got some fair dressage education on her so she's really really exciting so yeah basically she spent the last four years training as a dressage pony competing around perth and down south hello um she's a really really lovely nature like she's just so affectionate oh that's attractive are you sleepy 
she's really really affectionate and a very sensitive mare as well like she's really like you know she's a bit of a one person horse she likes her person um she likes having a specific individual to bond with and i've sort of made that um rapport with her now and we're best buddies the first time i went to catch her she wouldn't let me catch her because she was like you're not mum but now she just walks up in the paddock and everything hey people want to see you what are you planning to do with her like i said before learn from her hopefully go up and do some high level dressage tests and excuse you that's my phone please don't break that and just <laughs> keep going up the levels pretty much and enjoy my time with her really learn from her um i'm hoping that she's gonna be like a long-term horse i'd like to keep her until she's older she likes routine and she likes a specific person and she's just a really special mare honestly were you considering getting her before you found out what you did about fish so basically i retired leisha from jumping because she had a bone spur on her hock and DJD. Turns out both of those were misdiagnosed because we had another vet take x-rays of her for over an hour and he said these are seriously clean hawks, like there's nothing there. They just took those x-rays from a bad point of view. It was just basically a really good opportunity for the swap but I wouldn't have been able to afford Hillary without swapping Leisha for her. So no, I wasn't going to get her um, before I found out like Leisha shouldn't jump, which isn't even necessarily true now. But anyways. So as some clarification, basically we put a lameness locator on her and she did come up with a slight lameness on her back right leg, which is actually not the one that had the supposed bone spur on it. But um, we weren't sure what that was, but we weren't going to do any more digging because the vets weren't overly concerned by it. Um, so even if I did still have her, I probably wouldn't jump her anymore just in case of that. But she's just going to enjoy being a dressage pony now. Oh, it's really raining now. Mm. We're going to move into the stable. Okay, we are in the stable. Unfortunately, Hillary's face is now cut off because she's a bit tense because the rain's making funny noises on the roof. Can I put your head down? Good girl. Um, anyways, where was I? Anyways, what she's like to ride. Um, she can be quite strong if you're not using your seat. She can get a bit strong in jumping. She feels like a freaking 16-3 horse. Like she's got this big beautiful canter and so much power in her trot. Like she's just a very, very powerful big moving pony. Um, the first time I trotted her, I was like, oh my god, because this trot is just huge for such a small pony. Like, she's only 14-1, but it just um, feels amazing. Like, she's just got this beautiful, expressive movement. It's just, it's lush. Like, her jump is just beautiful. I love it. And it's so much fun to ride. Like, she is seriously just point and shoot. Like, you'd think for a horse that's done much jumping and it's just a dressage horse and can be quite spooky, you would think that she would be a little bit sort of, you know, likely to stop at jumps, but no. This thing has never stopped at jumps. She is seriously honest and she doesn't get too quick for them. She's not slow into them. She's just lovely and rideable. She's still learning to jump. Like she's got this funny technique. Her legs kind of go everywhere and she lands quite on the forehand because she's got such a powerful back end. Um, but we're working on that. But yeah, she's seriously cool. Well, another question was, what is Leisha doing now? So Leisha's now training as a dressage pony with my coach. So next time that they've got a show coming up, they're going to be doing a elementary test, which is super, super exciting. Um, and she just looks amazing. Like she's beefed up so much and she's so happy and just looks in the most beautiful condition. Like she's just muscled up and chunked up so much. Like it's amazing. And I still get to see her whenever I go to my coach's place or if I see her at shows, which I probably will. So yeah, it's not like it's the end of seeing Leisha. It's not like a like a flat goodbye I'll still be able to see her and I'm sure that um, my coach will still let me ride her sometimes so it'll be it'll be good and like, I like to think that my coach and I are fairly close for you know coach and student sort of relationship like I think of her more as a friend yeah she's she's done a lot for me she's really helped me with my confidence with my riding because I just I didn't even want to do dressage anymore because I thought it was just like so at it I just 
wanted to give up on my dressage dream, which is basically to keep going up the levels. And she's just done a lot for me and made me love dressage again. And I owe her so much for that. Why am I getting emotional? This is about you, not me. God damn. Next questions. Beep, 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 beep. How did you come across her? Um, I was just on my phone one day and um, my coach messaged me saying, hi, would you like to swap ponies with me? And I thought she was joking, but then, you know, like however long it was later, we had both had our ponies swapped over at properties on a trial and we were both loving each other's ponies. So it all kind of worked out. It was uh, my coach's suggestion because she wanted Leisha as she said she didn't really click with Hillary. Um, and she, I think she also wanted Hillary to go to a home where she can jump and stuff and have all that kind of fun. And I was happy to part with Leisha. Like it was hard, but it was, you know, it was doable. Like it's always gonna be hard, but it was just a really good opportunity for all of us. Like, like my coach can have a really nice easy horse to just shoot up the grades with again. Um, I get to learn from this um, beautiful pony and then I can still jump an event and go up the levels and stuff. So it was just, it was just really good for all of us. Your favorite thing about her? Probably like her movement is, I love her movement a lot, but then also her personality. Like she's just, I feel like whenever you look at a Welsh D, just from their faces, they don't look like they have a lot of personality. That's just my personal opinion. I've always thought Welshers, like Welsh cobs, they don't look like they have a lot of personality in their face because they're just kind of like, you know? And I was sort of like that with her. I was like, oh, like, you know, Welsh cob. It's probably really food orientated and pushy not really like she's not interested in food that much like she takes forever to eat um and she would much rather have cuddles and kisses and attention rather than eating her hard feed like she's just this beautiful really affectionate kind-hearted pony um and that's what really sold it for me like she's really grown on me and i've said this i said the whole time that she was on trial like i'm not gonna get attached to her like just in case it doesn't work out but she just grew on me so freaking quick and she's just this beautiful, beautiful, kind pony and has really helped me a lot with um, passing Leisha on as well. It's been nice to have this sort of big, meaty, hairy shoulder to cry on. <laughs> she's just been really amazing for all of it and I just adore her. How does she feel doing dressage compared to going show jumping across country? Um, dressage, she... She's tricky, but there's kind of like a formula to riding her and if you follow that formula then you're good. Something that uh, I'm sort of having to work on at the moment is not snatching the inside rein because she likes to sort of pull um, that inside rein forward I guess is the best way to describe it and then I'll like grab it to snatch it back to take an inside bend but I need to use my inside leg instead, put her more forward into the bridle and invite her into an inside flexion. Um, so I need to work on not grabbing that inside rein so much because then that's when she pulls on me and that's when I sort of lose the brakes a little bit because she just turns into a steam train because I'm using my hands too much. Another thing is that she likes to get a little bit crook high um, so I need to really sit down on my bum and keep that hind leg under her. So it is like, it's it's a little tricky, there's little bits and bobs but she is very very educated and she knows her job. I'm just learning how to ride properly for once because Leisha I could get away with um, not riding properly because she was just, you know, push button and she's easy. This one is not. Like, she knows her job, and if you're not writing correctly, she won't do um, the work correctly, or any work whatsoever, pretty much. And then for jumping and cross country, she's amazing. Like, you know, you just point a jump at her and she'll jump it. Like, she's jumped all kinds of things. She's jumped, like, branches when I've been on trail rides and everything, and she's just really bold and just, like, you know, she loves it. Um, she can get a little bit strong and sort of leany, um, so I really need to keep on top of her and make sure that I'm keeping her sat on her bum. Um, she's definitely much stronger on cross country than she is for show jumping, which is really concerning because she doesn't know her job on cross country properly yet. So when she learns her job, it's going to get very strong. And then another question was, does she enjoy um, jumping? Uh, she sure does. She just loves it. <laughs> And she's been really, you know, good with being introduced to it and we're just working on her technique at the moment mainly. Um, trying to get her a bit more balanced. Because she has such a big jump, she throws herself off balance. And just like, she has this big thundering footsteps that she just like kind of goes all over the place and you have to really try to keep her neat and tidy. Like you would if you were going around in a dressage test, you've really got to 
write her on the spot. Where do you think she's taking you writing wise? Um, up the grades, hopefully. I would like to try an elementary test end of this year and then hopefully try a medium test end of next year. Um, I'm not putting any um, time stamps or markers or anything on it. I'm just gonna see how it all rolls. I intend on having her for a long while. So we're just gonna basically keep growing together. She teaches me the dressage, I teach her the jumping and you know, together hopefully we can sort of get up there a little bit. Um, who is she bred by? She's bred by Hillswood Welsh Cobbs in Victoria. Biggest strengths and weaknesses together. Um, our personalities match really well, so I think that makes a big difference for a horse like her. Weaknesses, just me learning to ride her, pretty much. Um, she's been a big change and a bit of a system shock. I've really had to up my riding quickly with her. She would easily get some bad habits from me riding her lazily, so I've had to keep on top of myself which has been really good because I've noticed a nice change in my riding and I feel like I know what I'm doing a lot better now. Um, the last question was what height are you planning to get to her with? Um, I don't know, we're just going to play it by ear. It'll depend on how her jump technique shapes as well. She does land very on the forehand and obviously you wouldn't want that if you're going out 95 cross country because she'll just thud, especially with how big she jumps. But we'll just see what happens. I'm just going to make sure that she stays comfortable and happy and just see what she's capable of doing and what she's happy and comfortable doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've also got more exciting news coming up. I think I've got three things at the top of my head that I can think of. Um, two are locked in, so you'll find about those soon. And the third one is a maybe. So um, hopefully I have lots of exciting news to share with you soon. I, um, I'm sorry that I've been really inactive on YouTube. I just have been so emotionally swamped and just haven't had any motivation or really time to film because it's been terrible weather um, and when it's been good weather I've been busy. It's actually meant to be storming today but so far so good, it's just a bit windy. So I'm gonna try get back into it a bit more and so yeah hopefully I'm gonna get some more videos out to you guys soon. That is all I have to share with you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!